Welcome to this tutorial on how to get one of these on top of one of these. So we're gonna use a tripod to get a camera safely at a height. And um, it's one of the most important safety tips that we go over in the program. Uh, equipment can be pretty expensive at a height, so we're talking about maybe like $2,000-ish on a top of a tripod that all, your, all that happens is a single screw thread goes up into the camera body. So um, we, we just wanna make sure that you understand how to get it up. So we're gonna take a look. First thing you would grab one of the tripod bags and inside you wanna double check the very first thing that there's a plate. There is no plate on top of this. So that's one of the things that I try to get students to do first thing. And then I have one here. So you zip open the bag and then you're gonna look and you're gonna see this one has a plate. So we're gonna take this one out of the bag. And these are very compact, so they fold up. And the problem with that is there's a lot of like mechanical parts in order to get it into this position. And a lot of times students are like, I don't know how to fold this thing up, Mr. Bristone, can you give me a hand? So what I would tell you to do is to um, first thing, open it up and then um, you're gonna bring the legs all the way around. And the fr that brings up leg locking. So these little levers here lock the legs and you're gonna hear a click as I pass one of the stops and now the leg can't go back down unless I pull this lever. So I, had to, I couldn't pull the lever, it's kind of stuck, so I push the leg back and pull the lever and now I can go back down. So little tips like that, you know, you might be stuck and like, I don't know what to do and you shouldn't really force parts, um, that might be a problem. So um, let it go all the way around to the fullest up position with all the legs, right? And now the tripod head versus the tripod legs. Um, we're gonna put the head at the top and the legs down to the bottom. And then what I see students do is like open up the tripod and then start working with the legs. Now when you do that, if you open up these levers, so if you look at this, it's just a flips open kind of lever and then the leg will telescope out and it's a little stiff, so I have to pull a little bit. Wow, that's really stiff. Um, there might be something in there like dirt or something. So um, now, once I start opening these levers and then closing the levers and locking, now see how there's a distance between where I have to kind of like reach. And if I'm holding up here and now like one's all the way down on the floor, and I, I see students sometimes doing these like really weird, uh, not ergonomic positions. So what I would recommend is put the legs all close together. So all these leg locks are right next to each other. And then we're gonna open up all three, all three, and all three, I like got one down at the bottom there. And then use gravity to let everything fall and open. Now, some of them are stuck, you might have a little issue, but you know, just pull it so that they're all the way to the bottom. And now if I bring this all the way up, if you look, these three are at the same distance. So that means when I open up the tripod legs, it's gonna be level. So if you have these all kinds of different lengths, then the tripod's not gonna stand correctly. So get them all fully down, and then while the legs are still together, you can almost like wrap your hand around and close these leg locks. So each stack of leg locks, closing them, and now when I open this, it'll be at the height. So this is pretty much level, um, and then on the tripod head itself, there's a bunch of bubble levels. So let's talk a little bit about the head um, before I, well actually before I go any further, there's this vertical column. So this thing gets up at a height and then most of the time the goal is to get the camera at eye level. So this is actually not a bad height for me, uh, but this is telescoped all the way up at the, t the highest length. There's a, a, a rotating, if I go here and I lefty loosey righty tighty, so I'm lefty loosey here. Um, if I loosen this up, this thing can slide up and down. Um, so, you know, depending on the height of your subject, you might have to be mounting the camera all the way on the ground. It, it just depends on the shot you're going for. So I'm gonna go up to this height and I'm gonna spin this all the way tight. And now this is the highest that this tripod can go. Now we have tripods that can go way higher. We have um, different rigs that you can put on C-stands to make them go higher. Um, this one is kind of for like most general use, lightweight use, getting out and around. Um, and it's got some features in the he head, <clears throat> excuse me, that we're gonna talk about. So um, the head now, it, this is one of the more complicated heads that we've had in a video program. So 
bear with me as I get through it. Um, this comes folded up. So this is your pan handle. Um, and then there's another handle here that will give you um, tilting so you can go from like a sideways position to a vertical position if you're doing vertical content. So um, we're going to kind of get through it uh, one step at a time here. So the first thing I would do when I pull this thing out is there's a lever on the side here. So you're going to flip that lever, lever open and then the pan handle will come out and then you flip the lever closed. So now the pan handle is like a 90 degree angle and the pan handle acts as a lock as well. So it's righty tighty lefty loosey. So if I lefty loosey, now I can this would be tilting up and down. And then um, over here, this is another uh, lever that gets it from horizontal to vertical. So we're currently in vertical. So I'm going to loosen this lever here, so lefty loosey. And then I'm going to go to my almost flat position. So lefty loosey here, lefty loosey here. And you can kind of move this guy around. And then there's one more that's hidden from camera right now. We have this lever here. This is the pan lock. So if you Lefty Lucy, and it's really tight. So Lefty Lucy, and now we can pan and rotate. So you always have to pay attention to the locks. You always want to lock down when your camera is unattended. And really, you never want to leave the camera at a height for a long period of time. Someone would bump the tripod and knock the camera over. So um, what I would say is just like lock all these when you're hands off. And when you need to get hands on, go ahead and unlock. and you know, do your operation and, you know, relock when you, when you don't need to. So just recap of all those, we have the pan lock down here. So that's loosening. So you can go left to right. And then we have the tilt lock over here that has this like lever that folds in so that you can pack this thing up in a bag and it, it won't be um, in the way. So we got to open it up and then you got this left and now you can tilt up and down. So left and right pan, up and down tilt, and then lock, lock, and now it's not moving. And then this last one here is if you wanted to go vertical versus horizontal. And you can kind of set these in all different configurations. Um, and then on it, there's these bubble levels. So you want to pay attention to a bubble level. And if that's level, put the bubble right in the middle, then you'll, you'll notice that you're, uh, when you pan, you'll have like the, the, a balanced horizon line. So you don't want to be kind of like lopsided. So we'll set it up kind of level. And then now let's talk about the plate and mounting a camera. So this is the last point. This is where the safety stuff comes in. Um, this tripod has a side knob. So you can go, let's count it. So if I'm fully tight with the plate, it's one half turn, two half turns, two half turns will get you off. Uh, what you want to avoid is spin, 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 and then this thing falls off. And there's a spring inside of there, and that can, you know, disappear in grass. So what I would recommend is just cracking things just loose, and if it doesn't work, one more just loose, and then the thing comes off. So here's a tripod plate. So there's a screw that goes into the bottom of the camera. There's threading on the bottom of the camera. And then on this side, there's this lever, and then you can kind of rotate the lever so that it spins up into the camera body. And then the one last thing that I'll show, see how close I can get. So there's a little out arrow here that says lens. I don't know if you can see that. So you always want to pay attention to any tripod plate that you grab. Uh, it's going to have an arrow and then you want to put that towards the lens. So here's the camera and on the bottom of the camera there's threading and then you want to put the lens indicator up towards where the lens is and then fold that little tab out and then you can one, two, three, four, kind of screw and now it's tight. And now my lens is pointing in the right direction. I'm going to fold that guy back in. And then on the sides here, if you look at the shape, there's these like wedges. So if I put the camera down, it's kind of like this. And then the same thing, if you look at the shape of the tripod head, there's these wedges that go like this. So that trapezoid kind of shape, we're going to get the wedge in. And then on the side here, I spun this way out, so i got to spin it back in. One, two, three, four, five. You know, it should only be two, and then it'll be, it'll be locked. And now what's happening is there's a wedge that comes in from the side and squishes that trapezoid shape together, and now the camera's not going to move. So just pay attention to the shapes, and then now we got our camera. I can look at my level, and now this looks level on my bubble, and it looks pretty level in the shot here. So we have our... Canon R8 safely mounted at a height, and then you get into camera operation. So um, 
I'm not gonna mess with this one because that'll make my camera flip vertical. But I have on the back here and on the side here, my pan handle and my pan lock. So I'm gonna unlock so I can pan, that's left and right, camera motion. So you wanna do really smooth, slow, steady pans, um, all at the same speed. That's really hard to do. It's almost like playing a video game. It requires some fine motor skills. So um, panning and then tilting, you have to unlock. And again, it's lefty loosey, and now we can tilt the camera. So if you're looking up or looking down or looking left or looking right, you have panning and tilting unlocked. And then when you're not using the camera, you wanna lock these up, ready tidy and now this thing's not gonna move. And then we can get our camera back off. So we're gonna unloosen one, two, and now I should be able to pull this guy off. Go back under, I'm gonna fold this guy out. Lefty Lucy. And then we're gonna take the camera and put it in the box in, on the floor, in the bag on the floor. You never wanna leave the camera at a height where it's unattended, somebody bumps a table or something, it falls. That's a, a bad thing. And then I'm gonna fold this guy back in, and then we're gonna go back on top of the tripod plate. Remember, these are the things that disappear a lot. So if I go in the trapezoid shape, and then I spin it tight. Okay, now, closing it up. Same in reverse. We wanna to start to th kinda of think about some things. So, um, first thing you wanna make sure that this is at its fullest height, because if it's down like this, and I unlock all my legs, well, actually, you might wanna pull the legs in first. I'm gonna close my legs and then grab all of these and then because they're closest together, I'm not reaching, like let's look again. So if I take this, I'm gonna go way back here. And these are all out and I go and I gotta do one, and I gotta do two and I gotta come over here and I gotta come all the way out here and it's just one at a time like that, it's not very ergonomic. So we'll put them all together and unlock, unlock, unlock. And then flip it over, and then it basically shuts except this one that's a little stuck. So I'm not sure what's going on with this one. I might have to like use the air can. So a lot of times, if, if a student has a problem like this, they might bring it over to me. I might grab an air can. And I might try to blow any of the dirt kind of stuff that might be stuck, or there this might be a little bit too tight. So sometimes. There's an adjustment screw on the side. So this one that's like the sticky one, I might take the Allen wrench and they have like a star bit. So it's kind of like not an Allen wrench, it's like a star wrench. And then just loosen up the, uh, the joint a little bit so that maybe it'll allow it to slide a little bit better, but it's not, this one's a little sticky. So now, it won't slide down if it's locked, and then if I open it up, so that last leg, you might have to slide down. All right, so we are got all these together, and now if this thing is not like this, um, and you go to fold these legs up, so there's a leg lock, we're gonna pull down, fold it up. I'm gonna keep holding it while you go all the way up. Leg lock, leg lock. So now this stuff's in the way. So what you gotta do is, Take this lever, open up the lever, that falls down to the side. And then we're gonna take this lever, loosen it, and that falls down. And now we can kind of tuck all this stuff in as tight as it'll go. So you gotta really like maneuver some of this stuff out of the way. I had to like rotate this thing so if you're pan lock is locked, that makes it hard, so you can loosen it, and then now it'll rotate. So you might want to leave most of this stuff pretty loose, so that once you start folding, you can kind of move your stuff back to where it goes, and then it'll be pretty tight around the tripod plate and the tripod head, and now when that's... So um, if this is down, though, you're not gonna be able to fold this up. So then you have this thing kind of like sticking out and then it won't fit in the bag. So you gotta make sure that the pedestal is all the way open. I'm gonna tighten that up so it doesn't fall. And then 
these things collapse all around the tripod head and then I can get it back into the bag for transport. Uh, eventually, currently they don't have it, but eventually there's going to be a barcode on these. So you want to make sure that the leg with the barcode is facing where we unzip so that's easier to sign in and sign out. But that's what we're going to do it for this video. We have camera safely up at a height. Um, on top of the tripod, we talked about the different leg locks for this way, then the leg locks for the telescoping. Uh, there's levers that you have to press in order to get them to open and to fold. Uh, we talked about the pedestal height, so there's like a rotating knob where you go up and down for the pedestal. And then we talked about tripod plate, um, pan lock, tilt lock, and then the um, portrait versus uh, landscape mode or vertical versus hor horizontal, whatever you want to call it. Um, all that stuff is um, righty tighty lefty loosey, or it's a lever or a latch that you press with a spring-loaded thing. Uh, tripod plate with the little um, twist that spins the threading up into the camera body and you fold it on and then you can spin um, the tripod head tightener um, so that the trapezoid squeezes it all together and then um, you're safely at a height. And you always want to check, and that's something I didn't do, is um, you want to grab that camera when it's on top and you want to like, while it's on top of the tripod and it's got the screw threading up there, you want to like check it and if it feels wiggly like that screw thread is not tight enough, you want to get it off of the top of the tripod and tighten it back up and put it back on again. You never want to trust the threading and the camera at a height, so you always want to just double check that stuff because this is about 2000 bucks, something like that, especially once you start putting some more expensive lenses, audio equipment, it all kind of tethers on top of the camera. Uh, just be careful and pay attention to what you're doing. Um, it's one of the only safety things that we deal with in the program. Uh, I appreciate you watching. It's a long video, but uh, it's one of those that is essential for us to do things safely. Have a good one.